How's it going, guys? Um, I believe we're live, by the way. Um, the connection's not too good over here. Uh, but yeah, how's it going, guys? Jack Pugsley here, and welcome to the channel. Uh, guys, today, um, this is the first episode, um, a new little thing I'm going to be doing on the channel. Um, Calm Before the Storm, um, episode one. Uh, for the first game of the season, we've waited for a while now. Um, QPR, the Nottingham Forest at Loftus Road. Uh, so yeah, like a new little, uh, new little series I've been doing before every single game. Um, so yeah, every single game, these will be out an hour before. Um, obviously the team has just come out, so I'll be talking about the team, etc. Uh, but yeah, getting into it, QPR today, it's gonna be tough. Um, you know, Warburton is, I won't say he's a, he's an amazing manager, but he does make it hard at times. Um, I think that's one thing that, that he is very good at. Um, he does make it hard for the opposition at times, um, and it, it will be tough today. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll talk about our team. Um, our team today against QPR: um, Samba, Gabriel, Figueredo, Worrell, and Blackett. Good to see Gabriel in there. Um, I was a big fan of him against. Uh, I think it was Barnsley in the cup. I thought he played really really well. Um, and some of the, some of the runs that he made just remind me even a better version of Matty Cash. He looked that good. Uh, so very happy to see him in there. Figueredo and Warrell, good to see as well. Surprised about Yori Ribeiro. Um, obviously, Blackett taking his place. I'm, I'm a bit surprised about that. Um, maybe Ribeiro's injured. I'm not too sure. I've not heard much about it. Um, then the midfield, we've got Colback um, and Yates. Again, not too sure about Yates in that midfield. Um, glad Colback's there. Um, obviously, I think I think Sam Vassal's injured. Me personally, I would have played Batcherub instead, but I don't believe Batcherub's even on the bench. Um, then at Cam, uh, sorry, no, uh, left wing or right wing, I think this will be uh, left wing or right. I'm, I'm a bit unsure what they're going to do with the wingers here, but De Costa on the wing. Uh, Freeman as a Cam um, against his former club as well. Um, Joe Lolly on the left wing or right wing, I'm a bit too sure what Sarri's going to do with them too. And Graben up front um, on his own as the captain. Um, for me personally, I would have played Lyle Taylor today instead of Graben. Uh, in, in Sabri, we trust, I suppose. Um, yeah, Graben's up front. He's given him the captain armband as well. Um, I wasn't really expecting expecting Graben to be the captain, if, I, if I'm totally honest. Um, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, for me personally, Lyle Taylor is probably a better striker. We have to see. Uh, obviously, yeah, De Costa. De Costa starting. Um, Amiobi's on the bench as well. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Me personally, again, would have started Amiobi over De Costa. Um, I do rate De Costa, but I think he's more of a player that comes off the bench and makes an impact. Um, and again, yeah, Yates. I personally wouldn't have started Yates as well. Um, yeah, again, the team. The team's not the worst, um, but I feel like we could have done better. Obviously, João Carvalho not even on the bench, which is really sad to see. Carvalho has to has to be making it some way or another. Um, yeah, guys, if you have just joined the stream now, um, this is the first episode of Calm Before the Storm, the first episode I'll be doing before every single game. There'll be no watch-along for today. I am going to watch the game, but no watch-along. Um, and I'll try and do a little review. Um, and I'll try and do a little review, sorry. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Lyle Taylor's on the bench. Uh, Alex Martin's on the bench. Um, Amiobi's on the bench as well. I would have started Amiobi um, over De Costa uh, and Taylor over Graben personally. But it is what it is. Um, and to give Graben the captain arms band as well is, is pretty strange. I know he, he can be a, a talker at times, but me personally, I wouldn't have given him the captain's arm band. Uh, but that just shows that Sabri's looking at looking at playing him week in, week out. Um, he must have, must have trust in him. Um, but yeah, that is a starting 11. I would have made some alterations, but it is what it is. And Carvalho, not even there, which is a joke. Um, he has to play. Sabri doesn't like him. And it's one of the things with Sabri that I'm not a fan of at all. Um but yeah, how am I feeling for the game? Like I said at the start, it's going to be a tough game. Every game in the Championship is tough. It's the first game of the season. Mark Warburton, I wouldn't say he's an amazing manager, but he does make it hard for the opposition at times with the occasional the three at the back, the five at the back. Uh, but yeah, I believe our formation is a 4-2-3-1, four, 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 I believe, uh, with the 18 callback. Extremely defensive, extremely defensive, but at least we're not playing three CDMs this time. Um, how am I feeling for the game? Confident. Um, also, it's going to be tough because that's what the championship is. It's always going to be tough. Um, and Warburton will make it tough for us. Um, but I'm, I'm confident in the lads. Obviously, QPR have got some standout players. They did sell Eze, uh, I think, for 16 million quid, which was, was a big loss for them. 
uh, but they've got OJ, OJ Samuels, I'm not too sure how to pronounce his name, Elias Chair, Elias Chair, I'm sorry if the, I'm getting the names completely wrong, um, but yeah, it's going to be tough, but I do have a bit of confidence in the lads, um, like I said, every game in the Championship is going to be tough, um, especially on the Dremont Warburton side. QPR style players, yeah, OJ Samuels, very good fast winger, I'm surprised he didn't go to, I think Crystal Palace were interested in him also, um, but yeah. You know, it's they've got some star players and they will they will try and cause our our, our left back Tyler Blackett some some problems. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be a tough game. They have some, like I said, OJ Samuel's, um, and they they are Elias Chair, Elias Chair. They've they've got some decent players, some young good players in there. Um, score prediction, put your score predictions in the chat as well. My prediction, I'm going to go with a one 0 win to Forest. Um, I think Luke Freeman is going to get the goal. Obviously, making his making his prof official league debut for Forest, um, a brilliant signing as well. Obviously, we've got the option to buy as well. I'm going to go one 0 to Forest. Luke Freeman, um, in the first half, I'm saying about the twelfth twelfth minute. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a big game today. First game of the season, absolutely buzzing. Got the uh, the new shirt on as well. Buzzing with that. I, I to be honest, I did like last season's shirt, uh, but this season's shirt as well. I like it just as much. I think it, I think it's very nice. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is the first episode um, of Calm Before the Storm, episode one uh, for Nottingham Forest, QPR v Nottingham Forest preview. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on. Um, and again, like I said, the team, in my opinion, Carvalho has to be there unless he's injured, but I don't think he is. Carvalho has to be around the team. Um, not too sure under Costa personally would start like Um and Black it over Ribeiro. Again, not too sure. Obviously, it's a bit early for, for So, 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 our new player. Uh, he only signed last night, didn't he? Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. The first episode of Calm Before the Storm. First episode, episode one. Uh, I think next game's Huddersfield, isn't it? But yeah, I'll try and do a review. My goal is to probably do a review. Um, I'll title it something like Chilled After the Storm. That was that was an awful, awful attempt. But I'll, I'll try and think of a name. And then, yeah, if you have enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on. And uh, yeah, up oh, the Red Dogs. And uh, yeah, huge, huge game. Let's try and get three points. 1 0 Forest, Luke Freeman. Let's do it. Cheers, guys, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you very soon. Forest Lad Eye.